In my last video, I showed you two versatile looks for any daytime date. I'm Chloe Morello and I'm an Australian beauty guru. And in this bowl up video, I'm going to show you how to amp it up with two evening date makeup looks. So for the first look, I'm actually going to do a double wing. So I'm going to create a wing on the upper lid as well as on the lower lash line. So let's get started. To start out, I'm going to apply my BB Cream SPF 30 Plus. I'm just going to apply this with my fingers. And this is just going to even out my skin tone and act as a base for the fuller coverage foundation that I'm applying afterwards. Now I'm going to apply my foundation stick because I want a really flawless finish to my face. Now I'm going to apply this straight to the area that I need most coverage and then blend it out. And I'm using stippling motion, so mostly patting motions to work the product around my face. I'm going to be using this eyebrow kit. Start shading in using really light strokes. Now I'm going to use the Natural Eyebrow Shaper. So this is a colored gel, just to set the brows. I like to do my brows first because I feel like they're a frame for the eyes. I'm going to use my Long Wear Cream Shadow in the color Bone, which is one of my favorite products. It creates a really perfect base for the eyeshadows. Now I'm going to take this beautiful nude eye palette and this color here is called Cement. I'm going to apply that over the lid. And this will catch the light under the mood lighting of that really nice dinner that you're going to, I'm sure. It will just be irresistible. Then I'm going to take the dull grey and I'm going to use that to create a bit of a shadow effect under my brow bone. We're also going to add a gel eyeliner to create the wing. I'm going to use my lower eyelash line as a guide, imagine that it's just continuing instead of stopping where it meets the upper lash line and just use that as the guide for the wing. Now because I'm sort of going backwards and forwards with the product, just a little tip is to lay it flat down on the bench rather than having it face up just to prevent it drying out. You obviously want your products to last as long as possible. So just a quick tip. I'm now going to move on to the lower lash line. I'm actually going to use a pencil this time. Work it well into the lash line. I'm not going to follow the line of the wing, but to create a lower wing, I'm actually going to sort of dip it down a little bit at the outer corner. Just roughly here, we're going to take a brush afterwards to crispen it up, and then we'll go back with some concealer to even it out as well. Now I've got an angle brush and I'm going to use that to smudge it all out. Now there's product on the brush, so I can just sort of press next to it to make the skin a bit more taut. And then just run the brush over it to lengthen the wing a little bit. So I'm just gonna take some of the creamy concealer. I'm going to pat off some of the excess and then go right underneath the wig. And same the lower one. This also brightens up that area just below or at the outer part of the eye. Then on a flat shader brush I'm taking this gun metal eyeshadow and I'm going to pat that over the lower part so I really want to smoke out that lower lash area. Now I'm actually going to apply that same eyeliner to my waterline just to intensify the smoky effect. Now, to add to the smoky effect, I'm going to use this Smoky Eye Mascara. And of course, with smoky eyes, it's very important to make sure you don't miss the lower lash line. And I'm now doing second coat. Whoa! That makes a big difference, having that second coat. Wow. I love this kind of eye makeup. Now I'm going to take a bronzing powder. This is in the color medium. And I'm wanting to apply this on areas that the sun would naturally hit my face. I'm going to start around the top part of my head, and then along the tops of the cheekbones, or just right along the cheeks, a bit on my nose and chin. Then I'm going to use this brightening finishing powder on the top part of my cheekbones for a very subtle highlighting effect. Next, I'm going to use this Antigua colored illuminating bronzing powder. I'm using this as a blush, and it says be pretty on it. It's very pretty. I'm going up the cheekbone, so not in a circle on the apples. Now onto the lips, I've chosen this beautiful lip color. It's called Pink Kiss. And I'm actually gonna start with using it on a brush, just so that I can get that perfect shape or outline to my lips, and then I'll use the tube. 
And that's it, that's the finished look. I hope that you guys liked it. If this isn't intense enough, we're now going to move on onto a smoky eye just by adding a couple of products. First, I'm gonna take a Kajal liner through the socket and blend it out with a smoky brush. What I'm gonna do is sort of connect it from where I've done the wing and draw it through the socket a bit. And you can use the little smudger on the end of that to smudge it out a bit. And I'm just connecting it as well to the upper lid and blending it. Now I'm going to take the gunmetal shade and then press over what we've just applied. Then I'll take the eye smudge brush and blend that out even further using larger strokes this time. Now I'm going to take this cool ivory shade with that shader brush and I'll pat that just onto the lid as a little transitional color between the blue and my skin. And I did all one eye first just so that I could work with the eyeliner while it was still really easy to work with because it does set, it takes a little bit of time. And then I'm going to apply one of my favorite highlight shades for under the brow bone, which is Bone. Pat that under the brow. And then because I've gone really intense on the eyes this time, I'm actually going to take off my lip color. And I'm going to apply a much more nude shade. Now I'm going to apply just over the top to get some really nice glossy texture to the lips. I'm going to take this gloss. And I think to add a little bit more color to the cheeks, I'm going to add some more blush. And I'm going to use the pale pink blush. It doesn't look pale, but when it is applied to the cheeks, FYI, take a very small amount. It's a very nice natural color. So there we have it, the finished look. Let me know which is your favorite out of the winged double liner or the smoky look in the comments. That would be very fun to hear. Don't forget to check out my previous video, which had some more natural looks on it. And best of luck on your dates. Bye. I'm going to show you two different looks today that are suitable for a date, whether it be your anniversary, whether it be Valentine's Day, or even your first date. It's I'm sensing a theme here. Cheese, please. Say cheese. We're going to fill in with a red lip pencil. Great, so you can just use any pencil you have in the house? Not exactly. You want to get a lip pencil that's made for... Crayola.